things go wrong, I try to make them right. Never give in. Never yield. You're gonna love this. You ever been surprised before? Body shot. Start your free trial now. from out of town in here? Anybody from out of town? Out of town? Out of town? Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I know y'all came for a fight. I know y'all came to see the fight get started. But how many of y'all here, before we get into that, y'all want to have a good time, a little bit of a good time? You all right with that? Hey, Bling, give me something so I can see where the party at in here. Give me something. How y'all doing on this side? I want to shout out everybody here that came from near and far. All y'all here. Anybody from Brooklyn in here? How many of y'all from Harlem? Anybody from Harlem? What about the Bronx? Anybody from the Bronx? What about Queens? Anybody from Queens? here before I get started. One simple question. How many of y'all here happy to be alive? Make some noise. Well, you know what? Another quick question. How many of y'all are here 20 and better? 20 and better. 30 and better. 40 and better. make some noise in here. Well, if you are in that age group, you grew up loving hip hop. I'm one of the originators of hip hop. I'm the guy that created. I created the beatbox, but right now, I want to take y'all back to the original form of hip hop. Hey, Bling, give me something real quick. Tell me if y'all remember this. Y'all gonna have some fun. Watch this right here. All y'all here that still love hip hop, remember this. All the way up top. Everyone's got to make a living. How many of y'all remember when? 
when you first fell in love with hip hop? Hey, Brooklyn. All y'all from Brooklyn in here, make some noise. Hey, Jersey, remember this? It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Hey! Without a strong rhyme to step to. Think of how many weeks shows just left through. Say what? Time's up. I'm sorry I kept you. Now, how many of y'all here still love hip hop? How many of y'all grew up knowing this one move? Remember this, y'all? Here you go. Remember this? Remember this? Remember this? New York City. I'm taking you back in the days. All y'all up top. We going back in the days. Here you go. Remember this? Train goes off the track. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's right. go. Yes. How y'all feeling on this side? Yes. On this side right here. Yes. Say ho. Yes. Say ho, ho. On this side, on this side. Say ho. Say ho, ho. And all y'all back here. All y'all back here. Tell me if you remember this song here. Let me clear my throat. Come on. How much the baby? I hope you don't mind. Let me clear my throat. Come on. Oh. Uh. Check it out, y'all. Hey, I just do a little something like this here. I, 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 I want you to clap your hands, everybody. If you clap your hands, everybody. If you clap your hey, hands, Queens. everybody. If Tell me if you remember this. to say some MC rhymes. I'm about to say rhyme was yes, but then it went this way. You, you got what I need. Say what? But you say he just a friend. Say what? And you say he just a friend. Oh, baby, you come on. Got what I need. Say what? But you say he just a friend. Uh-huh. But you say he just a friend. Now I gotta ask y'all a question. How many of y'all ever been to a cookout? How many of y'all ever been to a family cookout? A house party in the summertime? Or if you have, in New York City? I gotta ask you one question. One question, y'all. Here you go. Do you remember? All y'all here that know that old school. If you know the old school. Jackson, make some noise. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the party starts now. Here we go. All right. I want to shout out all the beautiful ladies in the house. Beautiful ladies. Where's all the beautiful ladies at in here right now? All the beautiful ladies, put your hand in the air. Let me see you, baby. Come on, come on, to the floor is full. High Rollers United, honey's excited. I was delighted, cause I was invited. It was announced on the radio and heard through speakers. The hoodies, hat, that boots, and sneakers. Come in peace, so you'll be leaving in pieces. You can wear jeans with your permanent creases. Victory is still in and the mirror's raining. Diamonds are shining, baby, it's still winning. Oh, we oh. All the way in the back. Say what? Bring it down, Blake. Bring it down. I need everybody to the dance floor. This, this goes out to everybody that still know how to have a good time. Hit it, Blake. Is everybody okay out there?
I want to see your hands over your hands. Here we go. Don't this hit make my people want to... Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dougie Fresh. Give a round of applause. All right, Brooklyn, we're getting closer to Mayweather Good McGregor evening. making Welcome their way on the stage for the main Mac World Tour. My Showtime colleague, that's this is the Malibu third stop of the World in, Tour, in the and we do a little something. Brandon we have a survey this is the third because day I in want the third to stop know of this four-city global press tour for Mayweather versus McGregor. And let me tell you something, the first two stops have been unbelievable, especially the crowds, the size of them, their energy, the electricity. This is your hometown, Paulie. This is Brooklyn, New York. When you're in New York, you gotta bring it. And they're starting to get amped up, they're starting to get energized. A little bit of a late start, it's kind of took the energy out of the crowd. A little but, bit. A little bit. That's the same a little thing, bit. To, put it, to put it mildly. How about an hour and a half? This is but Kanye these guys, West not, they're, they're starting to wake up now, so we'll see. We'll see by the time these guys get back out of here, hopefully it'll be animated again. And let me tell you, spoiler alert, I can tell you Conor McGregor is ready to bring another show. He's here in a full-fledged mink. He's, <laughs> he's channeled his inner Joe Namath. He's taking it a whole nother level. Wait till you guys see him. Wait till you see it. And I'm going to tell you, if tonight is anything like we saw in Toronto last night, this night should be quite an evening. If this stop, Toronto, is anything like we saw in Los Angeles, this stop will be electric. Yesterday, 
I, I thought Connor got a little outshined, and I've never seen that personally. And I thought Floyd, was, he, man, he was on it yesterday. He knew he had to rise to the top, and he did it. I'm telling you, today, yeah, it's a say. different story. Yeah. Yeah. It's I a said, different it's, story. It's set the battle tone yesterday. Yes. Today, they're going to come out with the heat. Oh. And no one's better in the world than Connor. I'm telling you, you see today, he's, he's going to win this one. Undisputed today. <laughs> the sixth god is here. Drizzy Drake has now taken the stage. The biggest fight in the history of fighting. I just want to welcome these two fighters, the notorious Conor McGregor. Floyd Money Mayweather. Drake, I love each and every one of you. Let's get into this shit! The notorious Conor McGregor! Does this mic work? Well then, fuck that mic. On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs, fuck the Mayweather's! One, two, three. He won't do shit. 28 years of age. I'm getting fight checks and promoter checks. When Floyd was 28, he was on Oscar De La Hoya's undercard. And that's just facts. Floyd is an old, weak bitch. You're fucking crazy if you think this man stands a chance. His head is too small. I bounce heads off the canvas. He tip top toes to a decision. He's never even fought a day in his life. He's a runner. He's boxing's biggest bitch. Life is so fucking good. How do I look? What the fuck is he wearing? You're 40 years of age. Dress your fucking age. Shout out Drizzy Drake. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. The fucking fans can't fight for you. Shut your fucking mouth. We not talking about being at the top one year, two years, three years, four years, 21 years. Bitch, I do numbers. I make money. You know my middle name, bitch. You owe money. If you believe in yourself like you say you believe in yourself, bitch, your whole fight check, you bitch. No fucking problem. Send the contract, kid. It's done. See if this bitch wanna bet this. Do what you're told, bitch. Do what you're told, bitch. We already know this bitch right here. He like to quit. What the fuck is that? Talking about how tough you is. Talking about you got pride in you. Talking about you a killer. Real killers don't quit. You don't even know nothing about true fighting. You've never been in there. You're against a different animal here, Floyd. I don't quit. I don't fall under pressure. I'm the best, and I know I'm the best. Bitch, and you know I'm the best. You can do something with that flag, I'll fuck you up. That's it. That's it. There's about five grand in here. You ain't getting this bag or this money back, I'm gonna fuck you up on this stage. You got the world watching. McGregor, Mayweather, face off. You said when Conor McGregor you. was gonna come out of the box smoking. He came out of the box smoking. That's a 10 a round for my boy. <laughs> he, he hit, that, that, out. Just, he hit that out the park. I'm gonna stay at the top, do what I want. Well, I can only tell you that the energy in Toronto was undescribable. And listen, when you're in New York City, you got to bring out all the big dogs. It's the Big Apple, and we got one here. The first lady of boxing, Rosie Perez with us. How are you, Rosie? I'm great. I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. This is the best thing for the fight game that has happened in a very, very long time. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm curious. What are your thoughts on the best 
person in boxing, biggest name in boxing, biggest name in mixed martial arts, going at it in a boxing ring. I think that this is a very, very smart marketing idea and a great gift to fight fans all around. I was blown away with the footage of yesterday's press conference. Conor McGregor is out of his mind, and it is a fantastic <laughs> thing. It really is. I have never seen anyone get into Floyd Mayweather's face like that. You didn't see an ounce of fear, yeah. an ounce of intimidation. This is going to be an awesome fight. Yeah, he's obviously very confident. And to me, when you look at the way Floyd grabbed that Ireland flag, yes, and yes, then Conor yes. McGregor grabbed his bag of full of money, I was like, oh, I know he's not going to throw that money to oh, the crowd. Man. That was the best moment I thought of the toy. That, yeah. that was amazing. When Floyd grabbed that Conor McGregor, the Irish flag, and did the Conor pose, I went, oh, no, what's going to happen here? Do you know Conor takes that personal? Yeah. That was my favorite moment. I, I, now, listen, who, who, who do you have in that fight? What do you, who, who, when it comes down to it, who do you think is winning? Well, you know. Come on, Rosie. Come on. Come on. Give me some here, Rosie. Well, you know that I'm a boxing fan. Absolutely. I, I, that is my love. And, you know, Mayweather, he's still quick. You know, he's up there in age, but he's still quick. And Conor McGregor takes a, 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 a minute to set up his punches. So while he's setting up his punches, Floyd is just going to go in there. So it's going to be very interesting. I think that Conor McGregor, his speed with his foot movement, we got to see how it compares to uh, Mayweather's, you know? So, but it is a boxing match. So I think that Floyd has the edge, but anything can happen in the ring. Well, anything can happen. We certainly appreciate your time. It should be an electric night here in New York City. Thank you, Rosie. Listen, the fighters are getting ready to enter the stage, but we want to let you know there's some dynamic programming coming up here on Showtime. And in fact, there's a series going on that's become a great hit. It's called I'm Not Dying, I'm Dying Up Here. Take a look. I do love living in LA. All the tourists are thoroughly convinced that I'm that one black guy from that thing. Fuck you. Tell me, pal, is there a uh, Mrs. Drunken Shithead at home? Show your audience. Oh. Floor's wet. Wanna buy some weed? How many people want to see Bill fail tonight? Shut up, you fucking adult baby. Oh, you stole my joke. Oh. You don't steal another guy's joke. Oh. Oh. So, uh, who we kicking? What are you so pissed off about? I'm so much funnier than you. Is this still a fight? It's not looking how babies are made. It's about money, fame, and getting laid by women way out of our league. <laughs> so wake up. Be funny. Tonight I want to talk to y'all about Y'all still right? How about we settle this like men? For balls. Three, two, one. Why not just play rock, paper, scissors? What are we, fucking 10? Of course, some of the dynamic programming you can see on Showtime. Of course, you can see this big fight August 22nd on Showtime pay-per-view. All right, guys, how do we top what we saw in Toronto? Because look, at the very beginning, Conor McGregor was the first to walk on stage, and he smacked the mic. And you knew right then, OK, He's on 10 tonight. What I tell you guys? You what did. did I tell you, you, you guys? Listen, I it, told you, Carlos did come yeah, and Brandon, bring that. But Brandon, you said that in the first one, too. Yeah, come on, did, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did say in the first one, he needed to make some adjustments. Did he ever? He did. He came out with pure fire. To me, when he came out, that's a 10-8 round. So, right, so look, 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 10-8 Toronto. Now, see, listen, if you're scoring the fight, i say first round, Floyd Mayweather, LA. That. Yep, 10 Second round, Toronto. 10-8. Come on. Floyd was in that bed. Floyd has a good even. one line of suit. I'll give yeah. Connor the second day. Bro, Don't give yeah. me Connor one. Connor called out Espinosa on Showtime. Uh, all right, all right. What? <laughs> so, uh, who how does that? Yeah, and Floyd, we made like him and Dana White were the only money makers on stage. That's true. <laughs> yeah, they, That's did, true. they did do That's that. True. They did do that. So then how do you top that? Because listen, you've been in some big fights. And listen, at what point do you say, okay, I got to strategically start thinking man, about what I'm going to do? Because we already know he's coming out in the mink, Conor McGregor. Yeah, man, you know, you're competitive. You're competitive in the ring. You're competitive out of the ring. You want to win at all costs. Competitors compete, right? I, 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 I got a bad feeling about this, man. I think it's going to get more and more personal. Yeah. I got to be honest. There's only, there's only so many things you can it, you can insult each other about before it starts to get into personal business. It, it's, it's been money. It's been fight records. It's been styles. Now it's, it's going to get go to home the only thing that's left is super personal stuff. Yeah. So I'm sure Connor has some dirt. You know, Floyd's going to bring it there. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. And also, 
I'm nervous for Brooklyn, your hometown, because how do you top Toronto? We had Drake. We had Drake. Yeah, it's true. It's we true. had Dougie Fresh. How, how <laughs> dare you? How dare you? You should say that. Where's Jay-Z? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Hey, look, and, and remember Floyd even told us yesterday, he said, look, I got some things up my sleeve here because he knows he knows he's coming to New York City and he's going to have to put on a show. Let's go to the stage here. I'm going to stay at the top, do what I want to, because when you speak boxing, you're speaking Mayweather. I'm going to be ruthless in there. My fist is just going to break his whole face, and that's it. You got MMA fighters calling me out. Man, stay in your lane. Let's not kid ourselves here who the big star is of this show. Got me, a slick, handsome Irish kid, and has climbed to the top of the game quicker than anyone else has done it. This is not like a normal fight. It's big, big business. Conor McGregor has said he will now turn all of his attention to fight only one man, and that is Floyd Money Mayweather. <laughs> I'm always looking to make history every single day. The first man ever to hold two titles simultaneously. And here we are again, more history. This just puts it even more in stone. No one's even came close. I'll be immortalized after this. No fighter in the history has done what Floyd Mayweather has done. All I ever thought about was winning. But that's all I know. When there's nobody there to separate, he's gonna break. They fighting every day, they in the gym every day. These fighters still can't beat me. When I hit a person, they don't escape. It's not about who hit the hardest. It's about who has the will to win more. I, I see it in my head. And then it happens. Oh, it. It's gonna be familiar. Because I already know that I can face anything. I know how to fight. I know how to win. I'm God gifted. I hold this entire game in the palm of my hand. It's never personal for me. It's always business. It's over before it even begins. When it comes down to boxing, I'm the best at this. At this time, we ask you to turn your attention to the big screen as we prepare to welcome the fighters to the stage. First, while he is making his professional boxing debut, he is certainly no stranger to fight sport. With a tremendous work ethic, armed with great knockout power and confidence, he is the only fighter in UFC history to hold two weight division belts simultaneously, and he is the biggest draw in UFC history. It is true to say, the sports world has never seen anything like Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is a knockout artist. Every time he touches guys, they fall. No one in this boxing game knows what's coming. I'm gonna stop Floyd. You're all gonna eat your wounds. The whole world is gonna eat their wounds. Long, rangy, dangerous with every hand. I'm gonna teach him about true fighting. I'll be immortalized after this one. This is why everyone's been talking about Conor McGregor. It's all over. This kid's the real deal. Oh, 
Big shot by McGregor. That's it. Connor McGregor. We're not here just to take part. We're here to take over. Oh, oh tag left. He heard him with that. Tonight belongs to Connor McGregor. Oh! He slapped him just like that. Connor McGregor, featherweight champion of the world. I'll get the second world title, raise them up consecutively. He got tagged. He's hurt. That's it. The first man ever to hold two titles simultaneously. Call me Mystic Mac because I predict these things. Every single person doubt with me. Doubt me now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the two-division UFC world champion from Dublin, Ireland. Please welcome the current and reigning UFC lightweight champion of the world, the renowned MMA superstar, the notorious Connor. world title appearances having faced over 20 world champions he has never turned down a challenge the man who answers this current challenge is the one and only Floyd Mayweather When they mention Pacquiao, they say, who is that? They say, that's the guy that we're trying to get to fight Floyd Mayweather. When they say Floyd Mayweather, they say, that's an all-time great. Money isn't everything. Money is the only thing. You already know I only come around once in a lifetime. the motherfucking lights and his lights camera action. I do everything better than every boxer. Everything. Never cry, never complain, just work. I will always find a way to win.
life to get to this point, and no one is taking this away from me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former five division world champion from Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, here is boxing's undisputed top attraction. Please welcome the undefeated 11 time champion of the world, Floyd Money Mayweather.
in combat sports, about to go at it. Hello everybody, I'm Brian Custer from Showtime, and this is the third stop of McGregor and Mayweather. The fight goes down August 26th, and it's a fight that you, the fans, wanted, and we're gonna bring it to you. We wanna thank everybody for coming out tonight, we want you to support your fighter. And this is the whirlwind tour. It started in LA. It's gonna to end tomorrow in London. We are reaching, in fact, New York City. The world is watching you. Every network is watching what we're doing here right now. So you gotta show them how we do it here in NYC. And because I'm home, listen. I wasn't going to tell LA this. I wasn't going to tell Toronto this. But I'm going to tell you this. You can get the tickets. July 24th, they go on sale. So get your tickets if you want to see Conor McGregor. You better get your tickets if you want to see Money Mayweather. August 26th, in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, the T-Mobile Arena is promoted by Mayweather Promotions. The event will be distributed live on Showtime Pay-Per-View. You ready? Coming to the podium is a guy who put Brooklyn Boxing back on the map. He single-handedly brought Brooklyn Sports Back here in this area, he revived boxing here in Brooklyn. He's the CEO of Brooklyn Sports and Entertainment. Put your hands together, New York City, for Brett Yormark. Thank you, and hello, Brooklyn. Welcome to Barclays Center. We're thrilled to have all of you here tonight. I'm gonna to say a quick couple of things. Floyd, welcome back. Always great to have you in the house. Connor, welcome to Brooklyn. And we hope to have you back soon. Dana, thank you for all you've done. The UFC is a monster. We appreciate all your support. Steven Espinoza, thank you for all your support and everything you do. August 26th, a major event, a spectacle. Buy it. Have a great night. Coming to the stage. This is a guy, listen, he's an innovator. 
He's been instrumental in really shaping the landscape of boxing nationally over the past couple of years. And for some reason, Connor and him, I think they got beef for some reason. I don't know why. But along with Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions, this man's been instrumental in delivering some of the biggest pay-per-view events in history. Please welcome the executive, vice president, the general manager, Showtime Sport, Steven Espinosa. Get him, Steve. Showtime pay-per-view is the home of biggest events. Events the world watches, record-breaking events. That's what we do at Showtime Sports. And we have the two biggest stars in combat sports, the two biggest personalities, and we're giving them to you. Come on. We can do better. I know you can do better than this. We have the biggest night in the history of combat sports, August 26th. But it's not just about that night. It's about the next seven weeks. So only Showtime will bring you all access, taking you inside fight camps starting July 28th. Thank you. Brooklyn, y'all treating this like this is Harlem or this is like the Apollo or something. Y'all cold, man. All right, here we go. Coming to the mic. You know what I like to call him? I call him the Rick Ross of the UFC. He's a boss. Another man. Innovator. He's taken the UFC to higher heights. He's one of the guys who's helped promote and made this guy a mega star. Put your hands together for the president of the UFC, Dana White. Thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you, New York. It's the N O T O R O U S. You just lay down slow. Recognize a real dawn when you see one. Shout out to the greatest of all time, the notorious B I G. What's up, New York City? 50 cents a bitch. You and 50 are two fake money bitches. He's bankrupt and you're about to be. It should be 50, nah, Bentley, nah. We owe a bollocks to the IRS, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing it for me, beautiful, yeah, yeah.
I got Floyd a gift. This is Jay-Z's new album, The 444. I want you to take this and listen to it and learn. Learn how to build and maintain a real empire, not a fake empire. And when you're done with it, send it on to 50. And when you do, tell them Blanco sent you. Let's address the race. A lot of the media seem to be saying, I'm against black people. That's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Do they not know I'm half black? I'm half black from the belly button down. And just so that, just to show that that's squashed, here's a little present for my beautiful black female fans. The coach polar bear. I'm a cold cunt. Fuck you! Do something! Someone do something about this polar bear coat I've got on. Come up and stop me walking around this place like I own it. I don't give a fuck how hot it is outside. I'm still wearing this shit. Hey, Weasel, tell those fucking Showtime bitches to turn the air conditioning up. The Champ Champ's rocking polar bear tonight. New York, New York. What a fucking city. What a city. To come back here, where I made history, I became the first fire in UFC history to win two world titles simultaneously. Thank you all. I'm blown away by the support. Oh, Floyd, so I can suck this dick. Here we go, New York City! Coming to the mic, longtime advisor for Floyd Money Mayweather, CEO Mayweather Promotions. The brother can dress. He's a bad man, Mr. Leonard Ellaby! The best ever, 12-time world champion, five different weight classes, the highest paid athlete in all sports, the best ever to do it. Brooklyn, put your hands together for none other than 
Floyd, Money Mayweather. job 21 years and guess what me and you is getting that money me and you we ain't got to dress up because I done the meat thing 21 years ago you know but guess what this ain't shit but a circus clown and a pussy I ain't never quit never will yeah Yo, Von Voltron. Take them high heels off. Yeah, 
one dollar bills up, bitch. All you bitches pick them one dollar bills up for yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fucking juice head, bitch. Look at you, you blown up, bitch. Couldn't run up and there, up and back from there without being able to fucking break you, fat bitch. He's a con artist. He's a quitter. Real fighters don't quit. Real fighters don't quit. You fucking Egypt. Fuck you. You fucking Fuck you and your Egypt. high heels. Look at them you high heels. You fucking Egypt. Get them high heels off, you little fucking squirt. You fucking Egypt. You fucking circus clown. You hoe. You stripper, you bitch, and you know it, and you know it. I run the show. This is my hoe, and I threw one dollar bills on this bitch. That's a three, that's a three million dollar fighter. It's an 800 million dollar fighter. I ain't running nowhere but to the bank. BK, you heard? Brooklyn, what's up? That's what I like. That's what I like. All y'all doing is putting money in my account. That's what I like. Looking at me or not? Where are you looking? You pay a hoe. You pay a hoe. Y'all want more? The stripper bitches on the payroll. Y'all want more? Uh -huh. Y'all want more? They're looking good, baby. You deserve better. 21 years? Fuck you and your time difference. Five weight classes. Five weight classes. And y'all choose a quitter? They said if you quit once, you'll quit twice. But three times? Oh, man. Oh, man. But I, but I love my guy Dana White. He's a smart motherfucker. There ain't no white pip in this bitch. Yo, what's up? We gonna pose the fighters or what? New York City! You wanna see them face off? This is what you've been waiting for. August 26th. Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View, Floyd Money Mayweather versus the notorious Conor McGregor. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen, just announced July 24th tickets go on sale. Mayweather versus McGregor taking place on Saturday, August 26th at the MGMT Mobile Arena on Showtime Pay-Per-View. A mega event you don't want to miss. Unprecedented bout, the best versus the best. The best of boxing versus the best of MMA. You can call it a showdown of Ireland versus the United States. You can call it youth versus experience. You can call it MMA versus boxing, but you don't want to miss it. Mayweather versus McGregor.
Well, there you have it. The third stop here on this four city global press tour Mayweather versus McGregor here in Brooklyn, New York. And man, that one got off the rails a little bit, uh, <laughs> to say the least. From to say the least, they're on the dollars, they're, making it rain. They're, they're running out of, out of ideas. They are really thinking outside the box. That, now. that one was a draw. Yeah. That one was a draw. Coming know, from man. Toronto, I don't hey, know, I'll man. tell you right now, Sony's Listen. the test Mayweather's goons. <laughs> I don't, those boys ain't passing any drug tests. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that right now. I don't know, but I thought Floyd was a showstopper with the money. I mean, yeah, the money that was yeah, something. Kind of. You no. know what? His two inch heels ain't helping. No, he true. came out two inch heels. His goons came out. What they don't know is the boy they were talking yeah, mess to, yeah. the blonde Dylan uh, Dennis, heard about would him. chuck out <laughs> all those meatheads in a row. Yeah. They don't want none of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that so was... his entourage won that steer yeah. down, I would yeah. say. <laughs> if, if there's a plus so, out of this. Yo, yo, that was crazy. I, I, you know what I want to give Connor credit for? Yeah. He knows his city. Yes. He came up and gave B.I.G. some credit. He did do that. He knows he got the same nickname with Notorious. Yes. And oh, Jay-Z. Like, hey, and Jay-Z. He did give Jay-Z, but Notorious, the Notorious one get, was one, the one that got me because they got the same nickname. He came in, He knows where he's at. You know, I, I thought that Jay-Z would be a bigger play. I think Connor did, too, when he handed him the album. The crowd... <laughs> Wasn't uh, feeling that. Yeah. We call that bombing in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets a pass because the B.I.G. reference is perfect. You know, in London, you're just going to have to do the greatest hits. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They ran out of material. Yeah. You're just going to do the greatest hits from L.A., Toronto, <laughs> and now Brooklyn. You just got to kind of combine all of them. I think from a theatric standpoint, this one was pretty good. Just, yeah. Just from the you money. You run out of things to say, so now it gets more theatrical. Yeah, you, 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 Making you, the goons stand up against uh, each absolutely. other. Absolutely. I like that. Walking no. back up and down the catwalk. You, the best thing of the night was Conor McGregor's Gucci outfit. I don't know if you gentlemen noticed that. The Gucci coat, the pants, <laughs> and the no shirt on. See, I dig that. And no shirt. He, uh, went, he, wins, he wins style points. I'll yeah. give him that. But still, man, so throwing the money? Come was, on, man. That was Sick. It, it'll be an epic shot. It might be the shot of the tour, that money in the air, and yeah. you got Connor sitting there and him yeah. making it rain. It was good. Now, talk to me about the atmosphere and what you thought about the crowd here. Hey, that, that was a rough crowd, man. Yeah. Hey, they were giving them they, them, they, them they, had, they had no patience. Cheers. They had no patience. None. They wanted to get right to the fighters. They didn't want to hear Steven. They didn't want to hear Dana. Brett, they didn't know he was, he was short. They didn't want to hear Brett at all. Well, that's what you get when you make them wait. Oh, you make them wait. They want, they want the product. Yeah, they were waiting for hours. Yeah. yeah. yeah you're right Drinking about that. and stuff. They were ready to see the show already. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So here we go now. You've got one more stop here, and then you go to London. I would think that one will take on a different tone only because of the crowd, don't you think? Yeah, it has to. I, I think Connor's really going to feed off the energy in London because if you don't think that place is 100% going to be packed with the Irish, it's just a hop and a jump away to get over to London. That place can be rocking. Connor knows that. He's going to feed off the energy. It's going to be tough to beat this outfit tonight, yeah, but his be. material will be better, I guarantee you. I'll tell you what, the, the, the British fans, too, the U.K. fans, cheer sing i mean they are loud they are much more passionate a much more passionate bunch yeah. in the way they get and they become for big events i mean just from that aspect alone i think there's going to be some kind of atmosphere at that at that last press conference and, do, and don't forget how floyd mayweather embarrassed ricky hatton their boy so they're not happy already with them in case they did, did, did forget you just reminded them there you go the more <laughs> material for you london you know I, I would think that connor would get a little extra juice because tomorrow's his birthday so you know obviously he's going to be trying to celebrate and do that thing but listen you started off in la you then went to toronto so you went up north now you cross the country now you're here in new york city and then you're going across the pond to London, at what point do you just become tired, you know, of promoting the fight and be like, okay. Uh, you're probably tired already. Let's say tonight. Yeah. yeah. Let's say now. Yeah. Uh, they're, about now. A, they're about to do a red-eye flight again, you yes. know. Matter of fact, a lot of the media that was here probably had to miss this press conference because their flights were taking off at 10, 30, 11 yeah, o'clock. Yeah, the UFC, so was, it, the UFC you, staff was out at 10, yeah, 30. There's they, no way they made the they, flight unless they just skipped this. Yeah. yeah, they had to skip this. You know, a lot of people had to skip this to catch the, 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 the nighttime flight to England. So a lot of people miss this. They're going to be amped up for tomorrow. So now you've been through this. You've promoted big fights. After tomorrow, this thing is over. As a fighter, where do you go? What's next then? Well, you kind of now you've envisioned your opponent. You've seen him face to face. You've seen all the theatrics. Some of that is motivational. You know, mm. now you've seen how big this is. It boosts your ego, but it also makes you realize the importance of performing. You have to get the job done because mm -hmm. the, everything is riding on this. And if you didn't realize it before, which you should have, 
you realize that once you get done with this press tour and you see the immense amount of hype behind it. I don't I don't think either guy could predict how big of a deal this is. You know, obviously Floyd knew it was a big deal and it's a big money maker and caused the billion dollar fight. And then Connor knew it was a big deal. I don't think any of them or anyone in that matter could have anticipated it being this big. I'm, I mean, you, you look at the crowd here. This yeah. was insane. Yeah. No, this place is packed. Yep. It wasn't an empty seat in the house. Way up you look in the at rafters, Toronto. Yeah. There's guys, people hanging off the rafters. And then you go look at LA. It's nuts. You see the stars. So I think these guys, it, it, it boosts them even more once they realize the magnitude of exactly what's going on. Imagine the countdown show. Yeah. Imagine the show on Showtime behind the scenes and all that. It's going to be nuts. And then the weigh ins? Yeah. I mean, that's, 24, that's 24 hours before the fight. There, there's going to be some real, real tension in the air for that weigh-in. Well, it, it should be quite an event. And, again, it all comes your way on August 26th in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. And starting on the 29th of July, you will start to see all access. That is our behind-the-scenes award a winning uh, behind the scenes of both camps, McGregor and Mayweather. You don't want to miss that. Four episodes have come your way, building all the way to the big fight. They call it the money fight, Mayweather versus McGregor. Hey, we had three stops in, one more to go. How we, you feeling? I feel great, yeah. man. I was excited before. Yeah. Now I'm more excited than ever. And that, that, that show, the behind the scenes, the biggest of all time. It's going to be ridiculous. I'm just excited for everything that's, that's going to happen in between now and then. And, uh, man, I, I can't thank you guys enough for You're having great. me part of this. Absolutely. You guys, man. Paulie, I love you, man. You know well, that, I brother. You, brother. And, man, you, I told you this. They and they I want to do this on the air, man. Yeah. You're one of the best. Might be the best I've ever worked with. Oh, appreciate it's been it. a real honor being part of Showtime, That's man. Great. Multi love multitasking, you, man. too. Hyping the crowd up yeah, and everything. Hey. You were and feeling they booed, it up they, there. And they booed me. I'm like, what, what, what a brother do? I didn't do nothing. They wanted everybody off the I'll tell you right now, you and Dougie Fresh, you won this round. Can we go to London? Listen, we appreciate you staying with us and watching us through all the stops. Again, one more stop, and that comes your way tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. For Paulie Malinaji, for Brendan Shop, I'm Brian Custer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, August 26th, Showtime pay-per-view, the big fight, Mayweather versus McGregor. Good night, everyone. When things go wrong, I try to make them right. Never give in. Never yield. You're gonna love this. Yes. Ever been surprised before? Body shot. Start your free trial now.